the strength part of the workout now. So if we can have our resistance bands, please. So we're going to start with a brand new exercise for week three. It's the uh, side of the core strengthener. So we have our band. Take one end of the band in the hand there and then place the other end of the band on the floor in front of both of the feet. Feet and knees hip width apart at this point. We shall then place the balls of the feet on the end of the band. Balls of the feet on the end of the band. Okay, now we've got a good grip of the band there. Bring our arms in line with the hips and straight away you feel that bit of tension. You feel that bit of tension in the band. So, without leaning forwards or backwards, lean directly to the side where you've not got the band. So, lean directly to the side. Nice and easy, straighten up. And again, we're gonna to lean to the side, fingers reaching for the floor. As we lean, breathe out. As we straighten up, breathe in. We're going to do eight of these each side. Great exercise for strengthening the side of the core there. Breathe out as you lean. Breathe out. Sorry, breathe in as you straighten up. Breathe out. Breathe in. Very good. That's eight. Little pedal of the feet there. Little pedal of the feet. Just because we've been leaning to the side, you can still have a little bit of, uh, you know, a rush of blood to the head there, which can leave you feeling a touch dizzy. So just a lovely little pedal can help uh, reduce this. Now, take your feet off of the band and swap. So now we have the band in the opposite hand. So we're going to work the opposite side now. So place the other end of the band on the floor in front of both of the feet. Place the balls of the feet on the end of the band there. The band is nice and secure and we've just got the band in one hand. Now, it's not just about the thickness of the band, it's also where you hold the band. So if you want the band, if you want to make this exercise more challenging, hold the band further down. If you want to make it easier, hold the band further up near the end. Okay, so straighten up, arms in line with the hips, without leaning forwards or backwards, lean directly to the side, fingers reaching for the floor. Breathe out, breathe in, as you straighten up, breathe out, Breathe in, breathe out. We're going for eight of these again on this side. So we've done these exercises without the band before. We're throwing in the uh, resistance band now. So as well as being great for flexibility in the side of the core, it will help with everyday activities such as leaning or reaching to your side to pick something up that might be a little bit heavy. We want to do eight of these, please. One more. Breathe out. Breathe in. As we straighten up. Nice little pedal of the feet again. And 
take a moment, have a little sip of refreshment if needs be. We shall go on to the next strength exercise. I introduced this one last week. It was the outer thigh strengthener. I uh, hope you've been enjoying this one at home. We're going to go through a bit again. Look straight, tall and proud. Feet and knees hip width apart. As we pick up the band there, we've got the band in either hand. That's a little band. So, remember, if you haven't got a band at home, you can get them online from shops. But also, please do feel free to get in touch and we can get one sent out to you. Now, feet and knees together at this point, just as we get set up. Loosely, we are going to wrap the band around our laps. So nice and loose at this point. Then place our hands on the, on our, on the band there, on our laps, just so it keeps the band nice and secure. Feet and knees hip width apart, then we get that tension in the band. This is the start position, we've got a nice bit of tension. Keeping the feet flat on the floor, we don't want the feet flat on the floor at all times throughout this exercise. Breathe out as you push the knees out to the side. Breathe in as you bring the knees back to the start. We're going for eight again. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Great exercise for strengthening the outer thighs. Strengthening the muscles around the hips. also good for working those buttock muscles keeping the feet flat on the floor throughout breathe out as we push the knees out to the side breathe in as we bring the knees back to the start one more of those Push the knees out to the side. Feel those muscles working there. Nice. Smoothly bring the knees back to the start. Feet and knees together. Unwrap the band. Now when you're doing these at home, you could build up to two sets like we did last week. Two sets of eight reps. Great little strengthener there for the outer thighs, hips and glutes. On to the other, we're going to, going to touch base with some of the other exercises we've covered. So let's go straight to the upper body there. I hope you've been enjoying the upper back exercise. So place the band evenly over our laps, feet and knees hip width apart, elbows tucked in at the side, scoop our hands underneath the band, take a good grip of the band. Up straight, tall and proud. We've been doing these exercises since week one, so we're just going to add a few more reps. We're going to do 10 reps today so up straight tall and proud elbows tucked in at the side breathe out as we pull the two ends of the band and draw in towards the stomach and hips breathe in as we come back to the start breathe out as we pull the two ends of the band drawing in towards the stomach and hips breathe in as we come back to the start Great for strengthening the upper back. Great for strengthening the rear of the shoulders. Great for strengthening the biceps and forearms.
nine. And one more of those. Pull the two ends of the band, drawing in towards the stomach and hips. Nice and easy. Back to the start position, release tension on the band. So that's a great exercise for working all of those pull muscles in the upper body. All the muscles you need to keep nice and strong to pull something. So whether it be uh, pull yourself out of one of these, uh, uh, pull yourself out of a train seat or a bus seat where you've got to pull yourself up, pull open a heavy door, um, picking up heavy bags, suitcases, rubbish bins, bin bags is what I meant to say. On to the next exercise. We've been doing this one since week one as well, so we're going to add a few more reps. The chest press. Great little chest strengthener. So if we can put the band behind our backs there. Up level with the chest. So we've got either end of the band. Thumbs facing the ceiling, knuckles pointing away. Up straight, tall and proud. We're going to go straight into it. Extend the arms. Breathe out as you extend the arms. Not breathe in. As you come back to the start. Breathe out. Breathe in. Good extension of the arms. Breathing out. Nice straight arms. Just shy of locking the elbows. Back to the start. Feeling those chest muscles work. Feeling the front of the shoulder muscles working. Feeling the muscles in the back of the arms working. Great for working all of the push muscles in the upper body. All of the muscles you need to keep nice and strong. To be able to push something. So we're going for 10 this week. Just one more. Easy back to the start position. Let go of the band with one hand. Bring round to the front. Good. So we've had a great resistance workout. Starting off with a brand new exercise to steady strong. Workout. Working the side of the core there. Hope you enjoyed that. So throw that in for the rest of the week. And next week I'll have another brand new exercise. Enjoy. <laughs>